we have more talk here of Earth's magnetic field being in decay and that it's happening at a rapid rate. Now, oftentimes you'll hear talk of the ozone layer and the hole in it and the effects that it has on the Earth. What some people don't realize is that the Earth's magnetic field, though, basically wraps around the planet, protecting it from many different things like solar winds and things like that, different radiation, different rays. And when it comes to the poles, throughout the past, oddly enough, these magnetic poles have shifted and flipped many different times. They're saying this occurs roughly every 200 to 300,000 years. And they're saying that approximately 40,000 years ago, that it attempted to switch before it snapped back into place. And I've talked about the North Pole and its movement and the track of it and then the excuses of, you know, satellites can't go over this region over out in the water in the oceanic depression because of the the magnetic influxes and all this well that should hold true to only the magnetic north pole if it's because of the magnetic influence well that pole has been moving for all this time but yet that area they will not allow the satellites to cross hasn't it remains the same in the middle of the oceanic depression up there in the ocean as the pole the magnetic pole has continued to move so they're saying at this point that when it really starts to go haywire, this is what it looks like normally, but this is what it would start to look like as it starts to go haywire. And they're saying that one of the main reasons of this is a massive rift that extends from an area in a part of Africa and cuts clear across the ocean to Chile. So they stay here, they're saying that this South Atlantic anomaly stretches from Zimbabwe all the way to Chile. And it is this area where it has had the most dramatic weakening over the last 160 years. So they're watching this and it's tied to what's going on under the crust in Africa is what they're saying. And you also have to keep into consideration all the different animals like birds and everything else that they go off these fields and everything else to migrate. And when these things get disrupted and thrown out of whack, it can really throw them out of whack as well. But this is some of the latest in regards to this, and I wanted to update the situation. There's more here at this link that I'll leave below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. i got to give a shout-out to everyone out there that helps share this information. It's appreciated more than you know. And also, make sure to check out exclusive stuff that's going to be posted on undergroundworldnews.com. Over the next year, you're going to see a shift to primarily finding my material over there. It's just the way that it's going to have to be over there, censorship-free. It's been Dabu7. Peace.